Hello, everybody inside the Luigi Pig Mac, and welcome back to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, characters for the Future Super Story Mode. Right now, we're going up against probably one of the best characters in this uh, in this part. Just, just wait a second. Jotaro and the others are, are heading are heading for the hos hospital where Athol and Kaki are staying. Following them are two mysterious men. Our stands are told, the god of books and Kanom, the god of creation. The comic book of your stand tells us the future, and my stand disguised, and my stand disguised me, we're invincible brothers. Jojo fans know who they are? Oh, oh, a new page is appearing. Okay, let me pause there. So, there, so these characters are renamed to Boing and Boing. Uh, but their but their original names was Wingo and Boingo, so I'll be uh, referring to these two characters as as you know the Boingo brothers, Wingo and Boingo. But the other unique thing is that all the art for this particular part of the uh, story, as well as the other one coming up, would be or at least I think would be all in the style of Boingo's comic book. Anyway, let's continue. Boing and Bo Wingo and Boingo are brothers. Their next adventure is where they begin. When they arrive at the city of Aswan, hey, I found them. Five enemies are over there. They're talking to each other. Abdul, Abdul's wound is very serious, but I'm worried about cracking his eyes. The doctor said that he has to stay in the hospital for a while. We have to leave Kakion in the city. Hey, there's a cafe here. Let's take a break. A Wingo is waiting for them disguised as a waiter at the cafe. Just as the comic book advised them, a Wingo put poison into the tea of his enemies. We have another quick time. Nope. As they worry about Kaki on the enemies unknowingly drink the poison tea. Whoops. Oop. Let's try that again. There we go. As they worry about Kekyo and the, uh, the enemies unknowingly drink the poison tea. Really, this is the same thing. But their dog interfered with, with them before they swallowed. That was close. Darn dog. Shoot, we failed. The brothers... The brothers were discouraged. After quickly regaining their spirits, the brothers began to follow their enemies. On their way, they approach a man with a very disgusting appearance. The brothers are very offended by the face of the man. The brothers punch the man without reason or provocation. Bong. You hit me, gangs! I call for help! I mean, that's technically what happens at the end of this arc with the Wingo brothers. The disgusting face man calls for help. The two brothers are in danger. The brothers are beaten half to death and, and are retired from battle. Well, that was quick. But sadly, that wouldn't count. There we go. The disgusting man panics and runs away, dropping a wallet that contains a lot, a lot of money. Yahoo! We're rich! The brothers are so lucky. <laughs> Joestar and company travel by car to the hospital that Avlon and Kageon are staying in. The brothers follow them, preparing to attack. Wingo antis anticipated them and set an orange-shaped bomb in the, in their, on their car. Boom! The orange bomb blew up Jotaro, and uh, Wingo and Boingo lived happily ever after. I wasn't expecting it to be down. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. 
Boom. But it was a Wingo who was disguised as Jotaro that was blown up by the bomb. There's more bad news for them. The disgusting man who dropped his purse returned with his gains. He shows no mercy. There, oh wait, really? That's the end already? Boingo is in danger. But don't give up, Boingo. Things like this happen in life. The brothers have retired from the story. The battle ended before Jotaro and the others even realized that there was a threat. <laughs> Yeah, technically speaking, uh, it was only, uh, technically it was only a wing, yeah, it's only a, a Wingo who retired, because Wingo returns later on. Oh man, Terracore is fortune telling. And, uh, well, I guess we move on. Alrighty, who's next? Oh man! <laughs> the Anubis Sword, oh man. Oh, he gets to play his Bone again. He must be a, he must be a good and decent person. Evil Sand Masters usually hide themselves and then only attack with their sand. State your name. My name is Chaka, the Stand Master of Anubis. I came here to kill you. You're trying to be so bold and tough. I like that. Come on, let's see how tough you really are. <laughs> well, let's beat up Chaka. Also, one thing I should mention, the music in this game or at least in the actual fights, are actually really good. So the thing about the Anubis stand builders is that they have counters. Oh, that, yeah, that, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not really good at Pony Ref. Well, that was the first time I actually lost a fight. I mean, I lost many games, but I never lost a fight, so... Yeah. I mean, the main issue is that I'm, not, I'm just not feeling with uh, charge characters in general. Like, you know, Guile, Leona, like, all those characters I'm just not good with. And the main reason is, like, every time I try to do a charge move, it just usually ends up whiffing. Possibly because I didn't charge long enough. Because, like, because Bonner does not have any, uh, particular forward, uh, specials. Close, but not quite. Well, I'm going to have to end off the episode there, so... I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.